We are born explorers. We just have this desire and drive to explore everything out there. The last frontier is really space. Every star in the sky is the sun. And if our sun has planets, surely the other stars should have planets also. And they do. We think there are upwards of hundreds of billions of planets in our galaxy alone. These planets outside our solar system are called exoplanets, and I've dedicated my life to finding Earth-like planets with habitable conditions. These exoplanets need to live in what we call the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life. After we find the planets, we need to be able to study the atmosphere, to look for gases that don't belong, that might be attributed to life. That's what I work on. That's where I'm focusing all of my efforts because I believe that is the way we'll first find out whether or not there's life beyond Earth. One of my most pioneering efforts was figuring out that we could study exoplanet atmospheres when they transit their star and look at their spectrum. When the planet is in front of the star, some of the starlight is shining through the atmosphere. But in that spectrum, some lines are missing because of gases being absorbed in the planet atmosphere. Each gas has its own set of lines, and that's how we can tell which gas is in the atmosphere. And at the time, people were like, why are you doing this? You're never going to detect their atmosphere. Never. And when the first transiting planet was discovered, I dropped everything to work on my idea. I coded everything over and over again, pencil and paper equations on my computer, and I just worked nonstop until I got it done. In this work, I predicted that sodium would be the best thing to look for. About a year later, a different team of observers using the Hubble Space Telescope found sodium using the exact method I described this was the first ever detection of an exoplanet atmosphere. I love working at the frontier, being the first ever to do something new, to try something out that no one else has ever thought of. I regard myself as an explorer. And for my work, it's an exploration using the mind. I mean, we're thinking through what's out there, we're gathering data with our telescopes and analyzing it, but it's a way that remotely we can explore the universe. One of the challenges in discovering and studying exoplanets is just that the star is so, so bright compared to the planet. One of the ways we're working on to be able to look at the planet directly is the starshade. It's a spacecraft which is flown with the telescope. They both launch together with the petals unfurling from the stowed position. It will be flying in formation tens of thousands of kilometers apart and block out the starlight to incredible precision so we would be able to see the planet's light directly. Today, we stand on a great threshold in human history. Within reach are Earth-like planets out there just waiting to be discovered. My dream for the future is that we'll be able to take our children to see a sky teeming with stars and be able to point to a star and say that star has a planet like Earth.